Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Deceptions Conquest mode. In the last video, Hotaru was making his way to Outworld in order to defend the city of Lei Chen. Not only that, he was planning to overrule that city. So, let's go to Outworld and meet up with him. So here we are back in Outworld once again, part 2 of Outworld. Now this time our stay here is very short, there's not much to do, it's basically just main mission to main mission and there will be exactly two side missions to complete. So that's all we're going to do here. As you can see the main mission is here in the city of Lei Chen, that is where Hotaru is. So let's go have a chat to him, see how he's going. Chujinko, you have returned. It is good to see you again, Hotaru. It seems the city is no longer under siege. I drove off the invaders. They will most likely regroup and resume their assault, but I will stay to protect the city as long as is needed. I have taken control of this city in the name of order, as we agreed. However, King Zafiro seemed not to recall that arrangement. Men often do not recall the details of bargains they make out of desperation. It makes no difference. The agreement is binding. As punishment for his forgetfulness, I have stripped him of his position. I now rule this town in the name of Sado. Uh, congratulations, Hotaru. Now, if you will excuse me, I must see to its governing if I am to keep this town under control. <laughs> I love Shujinko's reaction there. Uh, congratulations, Hotaru. <laughs> Priceless. Okay, so once we leave the city and go out the gates here, we will be surrounded by a bunch of Tarkata. Let's do it. Come with us, human. Do not resist. You are outnumbered. This is the Overlord's emissary, the one who brought the Satan warrior Hotaru to defend the walled city of Lei Chen. I have lost many Tarkatan warriors to your treachery, human. You were to convince the Overlord to surrender, not bring him reinforcements. You would not surrender. I did not wish to see his people suffer for his decision. Whatever quarrel you may have had with Overlord Zafiro, you had no right to punish them as well. <sighs> Shao Kahn's order is all the right I need. Overlord Zafiro defied him. When Shao Kahn discovers that our assault has failed, our punishment will be severe. I should allow my whore to rip you to pieces! Yes, allow your soldiers to do what you are too frightened to do yourself. What? I am Baraka, leader of the Takata. I fear no one, least of all a human. Then face me in combat. If you are so sure of your strength, kill me yourself. But if I emerge victorious, you must complete one task for me. <laughs> Agreed. My warriors will enjoy eating your flesh when I am done with you. Okay, so here we go. We have to learn how to play as Baraka now. Baraka is a fantastic character in this game. He is outstanding. And I'll explain why a bit later on. Okay, here we go. We have to fight him first. And then we learn how to play as him. So defend yourself against Baraka's might. Okay, let's do that. And we have to play as Hotaru for this fight. Fuck, I hate this guy. My favorite combo there with him. Like I said, you know, Hotaru is good for air juggle combos. But that's about it. And even his weapon fighting style fucking sucks. The Naginata. Well, it's a cool weapon, you know. A samurai weapon. It's just terrible. It doesn't hit ducking opponents. Just a bad weapon. His special moves are highly questionable. Absolute rubbish. 
back. Love that combo. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Piguar fighting style is so good. Come on, just... Yep, okay, you're ducking now, I get it. Let's do little pissy crouch kicks to finish you off, like this. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. And now, we will learn how to play as Baraka. You have defeated me, human. I would not have thought it possible. Tell me what I must do. And tell me quickly before I change my mind. You are a powerful warrior, Baraka. I ask that you teach me your fighting techniques. A great warrior I am, human. I will show you why I am the most feared Tarkatan in the Shao Kahn's army. Here we go, prepare for training. Like I said, Baraka is a fantastic character in this game. Baraka. Baraka. And I will explain why a bit later on. The fighting styles I will show you are but a taste of Tarkatan might. I will begin with Salat basic high attacks. Pretty simple stuff there. You will now learn low attacks. Begin with these Salat basic low attacks. Baraka seems to have quite a lot of low attacks as well, which is really good. I should use them actually. The Tarkata are the embodiment of brutality. We will now teach you Salat power and pop up attacks. I love this move, the jumping roundhouse. Look at that. That's great. You have learned much, but we have taught you only single attacks. You will now learn Salat basic combos. Okay, now this combo is quite annoying because whenever you press X... Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Nine times out of ten when I do that combo, the knee never hits. And I have to sort of back them up against the wall in order for it to work. But for some reason it worked there, so ignore what I said. Excellent, you have mastered Tarkat and basic combos. Let us see how you fare with more advanced Salat combos. Come on, how did that not hit? Enough, now for the basic high attacks of the Hungar fighting style. Now for Hunger basic low attacks. Okay, I'm just going to tell you guys now why Baraka is awesome. It's simply because of his weapon fighting style, the blades. Absolutely, without a doubt, I think the greatest weapon fighting style in this game because the combos are brilliant and the key thing here is his combos, when he's in his weapon fighting style, you know, the blades, hit crouching opponents. I cannot even begin to express how fucking good that is. It is essential in this game in terms of defeating horseshit AI. Next, learn these Hungar power and pop up attacks. Oh, that's a great move as well. Look at that uppercut, sends them flying the opposite direction behind you. <laughs> He's such a beast, Baraka. Well done, now for Hungar basic combos. Yeah, that was very basic actually. Only a two hit combo. Not bad, human. Now try Hungar advanced combos. Still only two hit combos. That's okay, I'll never be doing those in a real battle. Here we go. My blades may seem awkward to a human, 
but they are as natural to me as any other part of my body. Look at this. Look at those big swipes. Always hits a crouching opponent. Always. Awesome stuff. We are impressed. Finally the blade basic low attacks. And they've got such good reach as well. Finally we will teach you these devastating blade power and pop up attacks. <laughs> That's a nice one. Jeez, he's got quite a few power and pop up attacks here. Finally, show me you can handle blade basic combos. Alright, now here we go into advanced combos. This is where Baraka really shines. Next, you will master my blade advanced combos. Oops. Look at that shit. Look at it. How is a ducking AI opponent going to get out of that shit? Absolutely devastating. Most impressive, but can you handle style branching combos? These change from one fighting style to the next during the attack. Let's do that. Successful. Now for a different style branching combo. Oh, look at this one. This is big. Awesome. Now you must complete another style branching combo that spans the Tarkatan fighting styles. Oh, yeah, this is a nice juggle combo, this one. Oh shit, hang on. Pretty nice. This next lesson will teach you our more advanced fighting moves. Okay, so we're getting into the special moves now. Excellent. Excellent. Well done, now try this one. I love this move, forward forward X, because it's sort of like a charge move and it reminds me of Nightwolf's shoulder dash move. It has very similar properties to it. This next special attack is not as easy. So this is his classic going crazy with his blades move from Mortal Kombat 2. In battle, you may be required to use any of our Tarkatan special attacks at any given time. Attack me with all three of them, I will enjoy watching you fail. Ooh, missed. <laughs> Fuck! Come on. And that's a great move as well where he goes crazy with his blades like that, down up X. Because when you press down, you know, as you're doing the input, down up X, Baraka actually does a little sidestep. So it's great because, I mean, if the AI is attacking you, you know, they're about to attack, and you go in for that move by pressing down up X, you'll actually sidestep their attack, and then go crazy on their ass with your blades. It's absolutely fantastic. For your final test, you must defeat me in battle, fight. Round okay, one. what do we got? Square, square, X, L1. Let's do that. Now I'm going to get straight into his weapon fighting style because this is where he really shines. Look at that combo. X, X, triangle, square, square. That's pretty much a fuck you AI combo. You're ducking, fuck off. Look at this. That is absolutely brutal. It has great reach. You know, Baraka is just awesome. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how good this character is for fighting the AI. Unbelievable. Enough. I have shown you enough of my combat skills. 
I must keep some techniques to myself. I thank you for what you have shown me. I will command my troops to allow you safe passage from our encampment. Go back to your portal and never return to this realm. Yes, I will leave this realm at once. There is nothing more that I need here. Yep, so that's it for the main missions, guys. We're done. But there are two side missions that we need to take care of before we leave Outworld. And we will do them in just a minute. But first of all, look at where we are. If I bring up the map, you'll notice that we're inside this Tarkatan encampment. Previously, when we came to Outworld, this area was locked. But now, we have access to it. And there are three huts to loot in this immediate area. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And in one of the huts, more specifically the next hut, this one here, it will contain a chest with Jade's alternate costume. There you go. I love that costume as well. It's very traditional. I don't really like her in her main costume because it removes the mask. That sort of pisses me off when they unmask characters, you know? Like Sub-Zero. Why? By keeping the mask on, it leaves a bit of mystery to the character. You know what I mean? Okay, now, before I leave this Tarkatan encampment, I'm just going to quickly show you guys something. If you go over here... You can see up ahead, there's a cave. This is where it is on the map, just to the right there. Do not go there just yet, because we need to go back and speak with Tanya. We need to get a side mission off her. Ooh, chest here. And the solution to that side mission is that cave which I just showed you guys in the Tarkatan encampment there so Tanya is at location A7 on the map pretty much close to where Shao Kahn is not too far from him and there she is just over here talk to her I am Tanya my new lord, Shinnok, has instructed me to locate a place in which to trap the infidel Liu Kang. Find me a suitable cave and I will reward you with coins. Locate a suitable cave in which Tanya can trap Liu Kang. Yep, and that cave, like I said, is the one I just showed you guys in the Tarkatan encampment. Now the second side mission to collect will be with this guy here, wearing the purple robe and hood and he's carrying a small dagger and a book. Talk to him. Please excuse my odd request, sir. But if you happen to see a vampire, would you be so kind as to inform me of its location? Return with a vampire's location. Now the solution to that side mission is actually in the cave. So we're gonna knock out both of these side missions in one go. Perfect. There's quite a few coins scattered around here. Okay, so we'll make our way back to the Tarkatan encampment. And we'll go to that cave. So there it is. Now as soon as you run up to the front of it, you'll get a little cutscene. I believe this cave would make a suitable location in which to trap Liu Kang. I must inform Tanya. Yep, there you go, and you get a map to a cave. So we'll take that back to Tanya in just a minute. And look at who is in the cave. It's Nitara from Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Talk to her. Yes, I am a vampire. I am called Nitara. Why do you ask? So there you go, she is the vampire. And we need to go back to that guy in the purple robe and hood. 
and tell him that we've found a vampire. Natara. Natara or Naitara? I always pronounced her name as Naitara. Whatever. So let's go back to that guy. There he is. You have found a vampire where? Excellent. I will go there at once. Here's your payment for the information. Beautiful. And he gives you 600 ruby coins. And now we'll go back to Tanya and tell her the location of that cave in which she can trap Liu Kang. You have found a cave to use as a trap for Liu Kang? Excellent. Take these coins and speak of this to no one. And she gives you 600 ruby coins. Excellent. Now, if you remember in the first video I made of Outworld, I went and spoke to Liu Kang in the city of Lei Chen. Oh. He is actually there walking around and I was under the impression that if you just speak to him he will give you 500 ruby coins. I now know, thanks to someone who posted a comment on one of my videos, that he will only give you those 500 ruby coins if you get the side mission off Tanya and then go directly to him and speak with him. So basically there's actually two ways of completing that side mission which Tanya gives you. You can do it the proper way which is actually to go to that cave, you know, locate the cave in the Tarkatan encampment and then return to her with its location or you can just simply go to Liu Kang in the city of Lei Chen and talk to him and he will give you 500 ruby coins. So complete it however you want it doesn't really matter I mean the only difference is if you speak to Liu Kang he will give you 500 ruby coins if you do it the proper way you will get 600 ruby coins so if you want more ruby coins do it the proper way and tell Tanya the location of that cave so that's it guys we're pretty much done for part two of Outworld we'll go back to the Nexus now and once we return to the Nexus, we'll get a cutscene with Damashi. Shujiko, I bring the tidings. What do you mean, Damashi? You have sacrificed much in your service to the Elder Gods these long years. Therefore, they are granting you that which you have desired since your childhood. A chance to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament in Earthrealm and defeat the Sorcerer Shang Tsung. I do not know what to say. How did they know of my dreams of defeating Shang Tsung? Long ago, I watched you from afar as you played with your childhood friends. It was quite clear that you worshipped the warrior Kung Lao. But unlike your hero, you will be more than a match for Shang Tsung. You have absorbed the fighting styles of many great warriors. Now is your chance to fulfill your dream. Thank you, Damashi. I will return to Earthrealm at once. Okay, so there you go. That's our next objective. We have to return to the Earthrealm. And as you can see, there is a green aura above the portal leading to the earth realm indicating that we need to go there so as usual guys i will see you in the next video where we go through the earth realm part two i'm out